Hello everyone, and Zill here with back with another game of Hearts Fire and 4, and we'll be playing as Switzerland again. In the future, I will be posting a campaign with all four achievements in one run, but I'll start today with the opening strategy, which will allow you to get a Italian puppet quite easily and quite early in the game. So let's aim for that one. Since my big video with the four achievements will be an online campaign, I thought I'd stick with democracy in this case and go for the focus here close to democratic ties. Let's start with Swiss guiding principles. We'll do the generic research up until tools and electronics and we'll start preparing our troops a little bit for the coming offensive. We'll build civilian factories and put our equipment, our, our factories on guns. We have 13 mountaineer divisions, we'll put them on the border with Italy, and we'll train 11 of these beautiful militias and see what we can do with them. We'll also create an intelligence agency right away. And let's go. Basically just need to one spy with diplomatic training, so that's what I'll go for. Swiss guiding principles is done. I'll get both of these factory focuses. We'll pick the center option this time, more active about protecting our democracy, which will slowly lower the balance of power to the left, which is where we want it to be. We're aiming for Allied gold first, which means we need less than full cantonal power range. I'm sticking with, with democracy this time, so I'll just uh, elect Johannes Baumann and replace him with Albert Fuller for the research slot. Adolf Fuller, whatever. We'll put the spy on France and diplomatic pressure. Defense budget increased and we reaffirm spiritual defense. Spiritual defense is done and we'll fortify the border with Italy. Giving my militias to this uh, other guy. So I can uh, easily make the orders later. Fortified border with Italy is done and we'll do ban for Nazi propaganda. We'll now increase relations with both France and Germany. We don't care about appeasing the Italians. Propaganda is banned. We want to go for Allied Gold next. Uh, we can already take it. Let's go. Allied Gold is done. <clears throat> we'll dive into armed neutrality first. Get our Chief of the Army. We'll open our banks to the Democratic Nation. And we'll seek to increase trade. We'll elect Adolf Führer for our next council president. We'll take this humanitarian. 50% political power gain. Not going to say no to that. The rest is uh, manageable. Let's also take the expand arms industry for getting our research slot. All of these focuses give minus 10 opinion to France, Germany, and Italy. We're managing our relations with Italy, of course, but uh, with the other two, of course, but we're not really doing much with Italy, and that's on purpose. Promoted Henri Guisson. Might do Réduit National, but I'll go for Bureau H and Pro Helvetia first. Italy is now hostile towards Switzerland. We are at minus 85. We can try to appease them, but I don't think that's going to work. France is um, really under 100%. Let's ask front for a guarantee. We are saved, probably. France guarantees our independence. So let's not care anymore about Italy. In fact, publicly denounce Italy. We have infantry guys. We actually do. Adolf Fuder. Hey, we know that guy. He's our president. Here we go. Italy is hostile towards Switzerland. They now get a war goal on us. Here it is. 
There's no Italian on the border yet, but they are slowly coming. And here we go. Switzerland declares war, and we call in France as our allies. Speed down. There's a few things that need to happen while the game is paused. We need to be the first to take control of a, an Italian province to get the Italian puppet later on. Much later on, when Mussolini gets deposed. So I'm going to move all of my mountaineers into Milano. And the rest can hold the border as they please. Uh, now, I haven't actually done this before, but I'm going to deploy the citizen militias and see if that really helps out my militia. They do seem to be gaining orc. And this is also important. The government idea Swiss neutrality has been removed. We now no longer have to appease the Germans, and they can't get a free war goal if they don't like us enough. France asking for military access, uh, that's fine, as long as I get my own. All right, let's head into Milano. You can see here France has entered through the south, but they are not the controller of the state. This state is controlled by me, so I'm the first to control an Italian state. See if I can encircle these three Italian divisions. If I actually deploy my militias for longer than 30 days, I will get a factory and construction debuff. In my test run, I wasn't using the militia like this. I must say it's an improvement, and I think it's even worth the debuff I'm going to get. Let's see if we can uh, take care of uh, this pocket here with my mountaineers. I'm expanding a lot faster than I expected. You can sit on Milan for as long as you like and eventually the civil war will fire. But the more provinces you take off Italy, the worse it will get for them, of course. Sadly, no dockyards. Can I ask you guys for convoys? You are the best. War participation is uh, actually in my favor. I've done this run a few times and this is the best I've got so far. Big difference is I think the deploying of militias, which will give me debuffs every time I uh, do so. Does that show up here? Yeah, it's, it's getting pretty bad already. Now that we have the Mountaineers again, probably just pull back the Militias and let um, Mountaineers handle it from here. And the Swiss Mountaineers have moved into Rome. <laughs> Benito is dis deposed. Here comes the Italian Civil War. We'll transfer the territory get to work on uh, finishing Italy once and for all. And here we are. Go to the um, other beneficiaries and go to all the way down to Regno del Sud and just start taking their core territory for them. They got some score themselves, or at least they can take their own course, but they probably need our help with that. Basically, you're aiming for the big Italian puppet for Switzerland here. Can't take any ships, but here we are. A very nice Swiss Italy, even parts of Libya here. Well, we lost all of this, but that's fine. Swiss Italy is done. Well, that's it, really. How to get a Swiss Italy in early 1938 i've already managed this in 37 so you're well in time to get building up this particular opening strategy will get you the uh, defensive war achievement at least as long as you don't lose these uh, starting provinces because this is a defensive war and you actually win now i would highly advise you to start building your military factories in Italy to slowly get their autonomy down 
Republican Italy will eventually rise up and demand its independence. If you annex them before that, that and you have enough time for that, you should be able to get the 34 cantons achievements because you get quite a bit of Switzerland then. Until then, you just have a massive puppet. So, if this is all, thanks for watching. Thank you.